Hello again. This is section two of the book that I um, read on the snakes. So it's called Why Do Snakes Hiss by Joan Holb. Illustrations are by Anna DeVito and it's published by Scholastic. And actually says, why do snakes hiss and other questions about snakes, lizards, and turtles. So now I'm going to read the section called lizards. Let's see what we can learn about lizards. So they're showing us again some bold words. And this one says chameleon, a knoll, and an iguana. Have you ever seen any of these kinds of lizards where you live? So how many kinds of lizards are there? There are about 3,000 kinds of lizards. Some well-known lizards are geckos, chameleons, anoles, and iguanas. What are the smallest and biggest lizards? The Haragua gecko is only three quarters of an inch long. Not even as big as an inch. It's pretty small. The Komodo dragon can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh 300 pounds. That's as heavy as six second grade children. So there's the Komodo. Very big. So what do lizards eat? Most lizards eat insects. Some eat spiders, snails, worms, slugs, or mice. A few eat only plants. Most lizards have short tongues, but a chameleon's tongue is longer than its body. Its sticky tongue darts out to catch a bug so fast that you won't even see it happen. How well can lizards see, hear, and smell? Let's see. Most lizards have good eyesight and good hearing. Some lizards have ears you can see. Others have ears under the skin behind their eyes. Like snakes, lizards use their tongues to smell their surroundings. So we have a blue-tongued skink. Look at that blue tongue. I wonder what makes it blue like that. And we have a tacoy gecko. Lots of different kinds. So do lizards ever lose their tails? You might have heard this before. There are weak places in a lizard's tail where it can break off. A lizard can grow a new tail, but the new tail will be weaker. Some lizards can drop their tails on purpose to protect themselves. A surprised animal will watch the loose, wiggling tail as the lizard escapes. Here's a gecko. Good picture of a gecko. Big, long tail. How do lizards protect themselves? Lizards run or climb away from danger if they can. Some lizards pretend to be dead, so enemies will leave them alone. A chuckwalla hides in a small space, then puffs itself up until it's too big to be pulled out. There's that chuckwalla in between some stones. And look how he matches those, the color of those stones. Lizards may try to look big and scary. A frilled lizard, lizard widens the skin around its neck to make it look larger. Wow. <laughs> Other lizards bite or whip enemies with their tails. The Mexican beaded lizard and the Gila monster can kill with their poisonous bites. What unusual things can lizards do? Geckos lick their own eyeballs clean. Very tiny hooks on a gecko's toes help it climb up window glass or even crawl across the ceiling. A flying dragon lizard spreads out flaps of skin on its side like wings to glide a short way through the air. There he is licking his eye to get it clean. A chameleon's skin color and pattern can change. This helps it to blend in with its surroundings. Each eye on a chameleon can look in a different direction. The basilisk lizard spreads its toes to run across the top of a pond. Looks like he's running on the water. All right, our next section will be turtles. See you next time.